The Business Buzz, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. This is where we address the business, the business topics, topics that matter. Here's your host, Sabrina Turner. Good morning, Cayman, and welcome to another edition of Radio Cayman's Business Buzz right here on Radio Cayman. The Business Buzz is brought to you every Tuesday and Thursday from 7.30 until 9 a.m. and is proudly sponsored by Cayman Medical Supplies. Give them a call at 949-6211 and also by Cayman Insurance Center. Celebrating 45 years in the Cayman Islands specializing in property, life and other lines of insurance products and services. Today we have three guests line up from you, for you. First segment we put the spotlight in here from again a little Cayman Beach Resort and Reef Divers. At 8 o'clock, 8.15 we'll hear from Mr. Nathan General of Maintenance Construction. Uh, you break it? We fix it. Paul, behind the boards, and I think we have our first guest uh, by phone over there in Little Cayman to hear what's going on. And to focus more on the business, Reef Divers in Little Cayman, speaking via telephone to Ms. Sharon Mayer, Dive Operations Manager at Reef Divers. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Sabrina. How are you today? It's perfect. I just wish I was doing this show from over there. I'm sure. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Sharon, please share with our listening audience and give us a brief uh, history and background of reef divers out of Little Cayman. Sure. Clearly, Cayman Dive Resort is a family-owned business with operations dating back to 1985 when Cayman Beach Resort was first first built by Linton Mm Kivitz. We're also very proud to uh, say that we are the only dive operation and dive resort that Mm -hmm. are represented on three islands. Right. Mm -hmm. So share with us, how many resorts fall under the umbrella of, you know, Clearly Cayman? Sure. So we have, obviously, Little Cayman here, um, and we have Cayman Back Beach Resort with these divers, and recently acquired in 2015, Cobalt Coast Resort with Uh these divers. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, as a dive center, there must be certain sand standards that must be adhered to. Can you talk about some of the standards? Sure. So, um, at all our resorts, we focus um, on safety for all our divers and staff members included. And on our dive boats, we have a bunch of safety equipment at their disposal. Every dive boat is equipped with uh, 100% oxygen. We also have a, a wonderful device we call Ocean Ears, which is an underwater siren that allows us to communicate with divers whilst diving. Mm-hmm. Um, and we also have a fully equipped backboard with um, all sorts of life rings, all sorts of safety equipment to make sure that we're out there and making sure the guests have a, a good experience. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm sure safety is your top priority when it comes to your clients. And uh, so what is required for divers before they're permitted to even utilize your scuba diving services? Understanding all of the media that we're getting and we hear of so much dive accidents, I'm quite sure this is to the top of your list. Absolutely. Um, all divers you know, are obviously certified to dive. Um, we are very fortunate at all three resorts that so we get um, our clientele um, that are mostly very experienced. So a lot of them come with at least you know, 100 to 200 dives under their belt. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with that, everything that they do will impact our business. So it's very important for us to make sure that they follow all their, their certification um, laws, if you like. Right. Um, yeah, so... You know, for that for that purpose, all our divers do come here with some some good experience, and also we have a a large clientele of repeat guests, so they're very familiar with our standards and our safety protocols in place. Now, are there any briefings that take place before a dive? Yes, actually, on their first day, most of the time, our guests will come in on a Saturday evening to start their diving on a Sunday. And Sunday, on their first day of diving, we, we have a really good informative orientation where we impress upon them the importance of safety, express to them how we run the operation and what they can expect throughout their day. Mm-hmm. But also something fun that we do before each dive is, um, reef divers is known for its uh, very colorful dive site briefing. We actually physically draw out the dive sites on the whiteboard 
we give them a nice outline as to what they're going to see, their depths, are they going to go into any caverns, what fish they're going to see, and that for the guests can be very entertaining. Very exciting. I'm quite sure some of them just can't wait to hit the water and to just make sure they can say, I've been there, I've seen it all. Yeah. How many dives approximately a daily do you offer? So um, most of our dive packages, our guests will have uh, two tanks in the morning. We leave roughly around 8.15. And you're out for about four hours. And then you'll come back in for lunch here at the resort and then head out for the afternoon one tank dive. And you're back by about 4 o'clock. So really you're out all day long. Mm -hmm. What are some popular sites that reef divers offer to tourists tours in Little Cayman? I'd have to say that one of the most requested dive sites uh, in the Bloody Bay Marine Park is oh. Mixing Bowl. Wow. Yeah, Mixing Bowl is one of those dive sites. Little Cayman's walls are very shallow on the top. You're looking at 18 feet mm-hmm. uh, at Mixing Bowl. And then on the very edge of it, you're, you're right on the edge of the wall. And it feels like you're, you're standing on the edge of a skyscraper looking down the building. Wow. Here, a drop off. Beautiful, beautiful, 100 foot fish almost every day. Um, and the edge of that building is covered with fish life and corals. Beautiful. So what about uh, sites in Cayman Brack? Cayman Brack's got some beautiful dive sites. Um, one of them in particular that we like to head out to is the wreck of the Keith Tibbet, mm-hmm. the Russian destroyer. Right. Um, but other than that, the walls on Cayman Brack are outstanding too. They are very unique in their own way. Okay. Now let's speak to some of the importance of dive affiliation for the dive operations and staff being PADI certified. Yeah, actually, um, we are also pleased to uh, be um, uh, representing SSI um, mm-hmm. as well. So it's, it's allowed us to sort of open our arms um, wider to, to more dive audiences. So not only are we now PADI certified to teach, but we're also SSI certified to teach. So we don't end up turning anybody away, which is really nice in, 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 you know, in the market these days. Now, what do you say to someone who's never dived but have actually put on some goggles and snorkels? What would you say to someone who is hearing you describe what you're seeing and what people can do but has never really given it a shot? I can say that I was one of those people before I lived in the Cayman Islands. I used to be terrified of water. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now I, I cannot imagine not ever seeing the underwater world. It uh, makes up most of our, our water, right? So mm-hmm. if you don't get to see the underwater world, I would have to say that it's probably the best part of, of our world is, is experiencing that weightlessness underwater and looking at all the fish life. Most people will never get to see that. Right. So I say, Go for it and do it. And if it's something that you've been thinking about, stop thinking about it and do it. <laughs> Let's Now, there's a photo competition, I understand. Can you share with us some details on that competition and how persons can get involved? And what, of course, they can win. Yeah, that's always the, that is, that is the winner. Is um, Every month we, we have a photo contest. Um, and it's, it could be above, it could be above water too. It doesn't have to be underwater. Uh-huh. We have first and second and third prizes, and they're all based on receiving gift certificates at the resorts. Um, and so you can enter anything. You don't even have to have a proper camera. You can use your iPhone. Um, and then what we do is we judge them. And so the, the judges consist of uh, some of our staff members as well as some of our underwater photographers. Um, and you can win some great prizes. And then at the end of the year, there is a draw for the best, picture for the year and you get to you get to win a seven night vacation for two at the choice of your resort and it includes accommodation meals and diving excellent excellent good morning and welcome to radio cayman's business buzz i'm your host sabrina turner as we put the spotlight and hear about reef divers over there in little cayman beach resort speaking via telephone to miss sharon who is dive operations manager at dive resort at uh, reef resort reef divers telling us more about the the sites and for the photo competition now let's talk about um information on the new renovations at little cayman beach resort Yes, we're very excited. We, um, we, we had a ceremony, an opening ceremony on the 20th of February where uh, one of the owners, Michael Tibbetts, um, we had a lovely ceremony and we are very excited to, to have our new dining room available to our guests mm-hmm. and to come over to Little Cayman. 
we can now seat over 100 people in our dining room. Excellent. Plus, yeah, plus we have a beautiful screened-in patio for those that would like to still enjoy the outside but be protected. Um, and it, it's just large. It's beautiful. It's uh, all hardwood flooring, uh, just beautiful features. And it's, it's given our resort a really good um, feel. So our new lobby is also very exciting. Our new lobby, lobby opened first. And as you walk in, there's a big screen, beautiful big countertops. It all looks like you're walking into an underwater world from the moment you step in through the door. Excellent. Now, according to an article by Karen and Ian Stewart, which states, there are two kinds of divers that visit Little Cayman, those who return and those who will return. Now, this islands offers up some big dive adventures you can find in the Caribbean. The resorts are small and inviting. The dive operations are experienced, op- operations are experienced and service oriented, and the locals are helpful and very friendly. If you're looking for the most memorable dive vacation, then consider putting Little Cayman on top of your list. And don't forget reef divers at Little Cayman Beach Resort. We'll take a break when we come back we'll hear about the total uh dive boat fleet um and we'll talk in uh, getting some more about rental equipment and how divers can find their way back to the boat these are key things that you need to know if you're into the diving industry but you don't need to worry if you're thinking about it one tank two weights what you can see do you panic on the water how do you handle that keep it locked to the business buzz for more when we come back The Cayman Islands boasts of a long, colorful, and rich history. In tribute to our roots, Radio Cayman, the voice of the Cayman Islands, is pleased to bring you the historical vignette series sponsored by Cayman National Bank. Visit Cayman National Bank today for all of your financial needs. The Cayman Islands, he hath founded it upon the seas. In August of 1838, Andrew Malcolm of the Michael Charity of London opened the first school in Bodentown. The school opened with 23 students and fees of 6 pence or 10 pence per week depending on age. However, Mr. Malcolm quickly realized most families could not afford the fees and he abolished them, which prompted higher enrollments and within six months, the numbers had grown to nearly 100 students with equal parts white and non-white. Although a tremendous success, Mr. Malcolm was met with hostilities and opposition by former slave owners because of his refusal to segregate the students by race. Information from this historical vignette was sourced from Founded Upon the Seas, a history of the Cayman Islands and their people by Michael Creighton and the New History Committee. Radio Cayman's Historical Facts Vignettes are proudly brought to you by Cayman National with branches on all three Cayman Islands. Visit Cayman National Bank today for all of your financial needs. When you need stability, think business of the year. Considering a new career opportunity, think best place to work. When dependability matters, think outstanding workforce. In need of a reliable financial partner, think Bank of the Year. When you seek excellence, think Kima National. No matter how many accomplishments we achieve, we always set the bar higher. That's why we are the most awarded bank in Cayman, And we are proud to be your 2018 Bank of the Year. I'm Michael Webster. And I'm Denise Brown of Cayman Insurance Center. Family is not the most important thing, it's everything. And for 45 years, we have worked with the community and their families on protecting themselves for the future. Whether it's providing top-rated life insurance. Or protecting your family's household investment. From our family to yours, we understand and we care. I'm Denise Brown. Call me at 814-7229. And I'm Michael Webster at 925-5433. We are are Cayman Insurance Center. Specializing in property, life, and other lines of insurance products and services at an affordable rate. We are Michael and Denise at at Cayman Cayman Insurance Insurance Center. Center. Call today. 
Oh gosh. <sighs> Don't let the stress of taking care of loved ones get you down. Home care now made easier with Cayman Medical Supplies. 100% Caymanian owned. Cayman Medical Supplies now stocks a wide range of home care supplies, hospital beds, all types of wheelchairs, including beach access wheelchairs, lifts, commodes, shower chairs, walkers, Curad brand orthopedic supplies, free blood glucose monitors with the purchase of one pack of test strips, blue underpads, and a whole lot more. Need home care convenience? Drop by Cayman Medical Supplies at 93 Smith Road, Windward Center, or call 949-6211. Free delivery. Hi, I'm Dawn McLean Brady, president of the Cayman Island Small Business Association, better known as CISPA. Small businesses drive Cayman's economy. As small business owners, we depend on government to create an environment where we, as entrepreneurs, can do what we do best, and that's to provide products and services that are valuable to our customers and, in turn, employ others. The cruise piers and cargo ports provide these opportunities. Encourage our government to build a port and let the Caymanian entrepreneurial spirit shine. Support the port. Support our tourism. Make a splash at the Flowers One Mile Sea Swim on Saturday, June 15th. Be a part of the world's richest open water event with over $100,000 in cash and prizes to be won. One in seven wins. Celebrating 27 years with Swim and Win. Random prizes including airline tickets to multiple European, Caribbean, and U.S. destinations, restaurant, water sport, and health and wellness certificates. No race day registration and limited to 1,000 swimmers. So register online today. Visit flowersseaswim.com for more information. All registration fees will be donated to the Special Olympics Cayman Islands. The 27 7th annual Flowers One Mile Sea Swim on Saturday, June 15th. Proud sponsors include the Flowers Group, the Department of Tourism, Davenport Development, the Cayman Compass, Remax, Red Sail Sports, Dart, and the Ritz Carlton Grand Cayman. The business topics that matter, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Good morning and welcome back to the Business Buzz. Um, your host, Sabrina Turner, and we put the spotlight and keep it on reef divers over there in Little Cayman Beach Resort. Joining me by phone is Miss Sharon, Dive Operations Manager at Reef, Dive, reef Divers. Are you still with me, Miss Sharon? Good morning. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the fleet. How many boats are in the fleet? And share a bit about the capabilities and dependability of your custom, custom-built custom boats. Reef Divers uh, has 12 uh, custom fit news and dive boats uh, in their fleet currently. Uh, five are presently here on Little Cayman, five are on Cayman Brack Beach Resort with Reef Divers, and then we have two vessels on uh, Grand Cayman at Cobalt Coast Resort. Mm-hmm. Um, they're all twin turbo diesel engines, either powered by John Deere or um, Caterpillar, as well as Cummings. And I actually have three brand new vessels on my fleet currently. Mm-hmm. Now, what are the various types of uh, morning boat dive excursions being offered? And do you even offer night dives? Yes. In fact, uh, when divers come to Little Cayman, all they want to do is dive. So we try to tailor that package towards their needs. And really, I always tease, it's like in a, it's like being on a liverboard, except you do get off the boat to eat, but you go straight back onto it, which mm. is uh, really what the guests want. So in the morning, we do run a two-tank dive where they're out there for the entire morning. And then we come back in for lunch, and then we'll go out in the afternoon. And we offer night dives on a Tuesday and a Thursday evening, and even more if they request so. Now, I imagine most of your divers are on dive packages, but do you offer dives on an individual basis as well? Absolutely. Um, We do get a lot of phone calls from the local community um, querying our dives, and absolutely we do take walk-ins if we have the space. And you can most certainly just book a dive if that's what you choose to do. Now let's talk about the types of dive gear equipment uh, you rent. What yes, does, what so, does that consist of? Yes, yeah, so um, all our, our dive centers offer Scuba Pro um, equipment. Um, we offer the Scuba Pro Equalizer. It is a weight integrated BCD, which is very popular nowadays, more so than wearing a weight belt. Mm-hmm. And we have... Um, brand new fleet of uh, regulators too that are scuba pro mark two evos now out of curiosity once a dive is completed and you're so immersed into beautiful scenery of fish and coral and you just got taken away and you're just there moseying around like me i wander off i'm sometimes like dory mm-hmm. how do divers find their way back to the boat 
It's a very good question, and it and it comes down to um, the the how how detailed the dive briefing um, is delivered to the customers on the boat. So what we do here on Little Cayman is we impress upon the buddy team, but we also have a dive guide who is a paddy and SSI instructor in the water at all times. Um, they will do the dive according to the dive map that we've detailed out to them, and we'll do a 45-minute dive. We'll come back to the dive boat. We'll point out the dive boat to the guests, and that way they know exactly where the dive boat is and they can continue on with their dive time um, without concern of being lost or trying to find the boat. And, of course, the visibility here is always fantastic. So mm-hmm. you can see the boat from 100 feet sometimes. Now, how long do divers, because you have to fly over, or if you're fortunate enough to take a boat over, how long do divers need to wait after a single dive before getting on an airplane? We definitely recommend an 18-hour um, period before you fly back home. Um, that is if you're doing multiple dives over multiple days, which most of the guests are. However, if you're just wanting to come over and do a single tank dive, which will be in the afternoon, as long as you have a 12-hour allowance before you get on that flight, you are good to go. Great. What has been one of the most interesting things you've seen on any tour? I would have to say most folks enjoy seeing sharks of course those are always on the top of everyone's list that's what i would hope i wouldn't see (laughs) (laughs) personally it's it's funny how your attitude changes when you dive and you're immersed with these creatures it's a completely different experience Hmm. Uh, and for the most part over here because we have a hands-off policy um, in our marine park every creature down there is not afraid and so you have the full experience without altering their behavior so Mm -hmm. Come right up to you. You have to move out of their way. Right. They are unafraid of divers. Okay. What efforts, if any, have your uh, reef divers done in in the lionfish culling? Yes. Yeah, so in 2010, we launched a um, an effort to to keep the numbers down over here, and we actually have a a volunteer community effort program in place, where at least once. Sometimes two times a week, we will head out with just all the crew, just all the dive masters, all the resorts on the island, all four of them will share responsibility and provide a dive boat. We'll go out after hours and we'll hunt and we'll cull. Um, and we, we, it keeps our waters clear and it keeps our waters free of the invasive species. Mm-hmm. How have you seen, I mean, you're out there all the time. Have you seen the numbers going down with all the efforts being done? Absolutely, yes, absolutely. In fact, it's quite funny because we've now got we've got a different response when we go on our lionfish coal. Instead of yielding the numbers that we used to yield back in 2010 when we first started, we would have 50 to 80 fish that we would find in the water and remove. Now we're only getting four or five, and we come back and we're disappointed because gosh, <laughs> we haven't found any fish. So it is very nice to hear the feedback from our guests that there aren't many lionfish present on our reef. You know. Can see that too. Excellent. You know, I have to go here. What about in the the collection of trash, plastics especially? Absolutely. Um, we have a program in place um, where we we ask our guests if they do see any trash to remove the trash from the waters. We also have beach cleanups here on the island too, so we get the guests involved as well as the community. Right. What are your thoughts on trip advisor reviews about reef divers and how beneficial can it be to receive feedback from your customers? You know, I believe any business in the tourism service industry should rely and welcome feedback from any forum, whether it be trip advisor or your own in-house surveys. You always want to constantly receive that feedback, whether it's critical or negative, and try and mold that into your business and tailor make your your business needs must meet your client's request. Mm-hmm. Where are you in tune to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz? It is proudly sponsored by Cayman Medical Supplies and Cayman Insurance Center. In this, our first segment, we put the spotlight on Reef Divers at Little Cayman Beach Resort. Now, Reef Divers is a team of PADI and SSI certified professionals dedicated to ensuring the safety of divers and protecting the environment while providing unrivaled diving adventures and exclusive concierge service. Reef Divers provides personalized valet dive service
this. They take the work out of your diving, handling the heavy lifting and care of the, of your boat dive gear. They even rinse, dry, and store your BCD and regulator daily so that you're set up and ready for the next days diving. Reef Divers personalized personalized and valley service delivers world-class experience with you expect at your world's best dive destination. Now speaking with Miss Sharon over there in Little Cayman via phone, a dive operations manager, what would you like to leave with our listening audience this morning as a recap? Uh, you know, to encourage and motivate persons to come over, even if they're not even divers. Yes, I mean, Little Cayman, it's, uh, it is a piece of paradise. It's untouched. It is a small community of people. When you, when you drive on the roads, when you walk on the roads, everybody waves. It is a great community. But also the underwater world here is something that is untouched. It's very healthy reefs, uh, interactive fish life. Um, it's something to experience, especially the walls and the uniqueness. Everything is easy. There is no current. But even if you stay on land, there is plenty to do with our iguanas, um, and all our boozy birds over here on Little Cayman. I know you definitely immerse yourself in nature over there, and it's so quiet. Absolutely, yes. With 140 to 170 people that live on the island year-round, with just a 10-mile-long island and barely a mile wide, it is super small, and it's gonna you're going to feel relaxed when you leave. Right. What preparations do you make? I mean, the uh, the hurricane season is right upon us. How does this work out for operations, understanding that you're the smaller of the three islands? Yes, yeah, so we do have uh, protocols in place. Um, obviously, securing the property and securing the dive operation is of importance. But um, we, we, have, we have regular meetings where we'll prepare for the upcoming season. Um, and fortunately, we haven't experienced a, a hurricane here for since 2008. So as of now, we do have safety protocols in place um, for guests and residents on the island. And if you can't get out to dive because the weather is not great, why not find a massage? Go and do some yoga. Hint, hint. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have a lovely nature spa here on property. I know. Um, Yeah, and we have a great yoga yoga instructor on the island too. That's right. We had them interviewed um, on the business buzz. Yes. So how can folks get further details on bookings with reef divers in Little Cayman? Yes, so go to www.clearlycayman.com and you can choose the resort that you want to visit or the island that you want to visit and all the information will be available to you on that website. Miss Sharon, any special mentions and shout-outs I'll allow you to do so at this time? Nope, nothing now. Okay, Miss Sharon. It has been a pleasure. Thank you for allowing us to put uh, the spotlight on reef divers, and I wish you all success in your efforts over there in Little Cayman. Thank you. All the best to you. It's a pleasure. Stay tuned for more of the business buzz after the time check news and weather update. When we come back, we have two other guests. We'll be putting the spotlight on Nathan General um, Maintenance and Construction. And we'll also put the spotlight on Tribridge Compliance Partners. Over to you, Paul. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Radio Cayman Time Check is now 7.59. This time check is brought to you by our friends at Price Right. Live better for less. Price Right is Grand Cayman's warehouse shopping superstore. Making your dollar go further with huge savings and no membership fees. Get more of the things you use every day at the right price. But it's not just grocery and health and beauty. Price Right has a full range of products from office to automotive, patio furnishings to kitchen appliances, and even electronics. And since warehouse prices mean savings for you everything is priced right at priced right grand cayman's warehouse shopping superstore how would you like to drive off in a brand new 2019 all-white mercedes-benz cla 250 on saturday june 1st at mango tree you could be that lucky person the lions club of grand cayman presents its annual charity fundraising event Benzorama 2019. That's right, one lucky winner will be announced at the Mango Tree on Saturday, June 1st, and that lucky winner could be you. If you don't have a ticket, you don't have a chance. Tickets are $25 each, or five tickets for only $100. Proceeds from the funds raised go towards various Lions community projects. Tickets can be purchased online at eventpro.ky, or stop by one of our ticket outlets, including Radio Cayman Studios, Funky Tangs, South Coast Bar, Reflections Food for Less, 
Northwest and West Bay Road, SO, or can be purchased from any of our active Lions community members. Benzerama 2019. We are all winners once you support the Lions and our community. The voice of the Cayman Islands. 89.9 FM in Grand Cayman and 93.9 FM in Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. Silver wings shining in the sunlight. Radio Cayman. Access and information. Your community. News and information. Radio Cayman is your choice, your voice for today's biggest news. Radio Cayman. With your latest news, I'm Carsley Fuller. Today is International Day of Action for Women's Health. Radio Cayman's April Cummings has more. For three decades, International Day of Action for Women's Health has been advocating for women's health and well-being around the world. And this year, Cleveland Clinic in Florida is hoping they can raise awareness for gynecologic cancers across the Caribbean. The hospital says the World Cancer Research Fund shows that over 18% of all newly diagnosed female cancers in 2018 were gynecological, with cervical cancer being the fourth most common, contributing to 6.9% of the total number of cases. Here in the Cayman Islands, gynecological cancers represent about 7% of the cases reported to the cancer registry, although that number could be higher. That's according to Registrar Amanda Nicholson, who says still many people are not yet reporting their diagnoses to the registry. She and others across the medical community are encouraging those who are or who have suffered from a gynecological cancer to register the information with the Cayman Cancer Registry so the data can be used to help with research and prevention. And in fact, what better action for Women's Health Day than this? April Cummings, Radio Cayman News. On the steps of the government administration building Friday, students showed up to make a statement. CIGTV's Donna Bush has more. On Friday, more than 100 students from various Cayman Islands schools participated in the Global Fridays for Future event. On these Fridays, school children around the world protest against worldwide inaction against their government's environmental damaging activities negatively affecting their future. Organized by the local National Trust and Plastic Free Cayman, the goal of the peaceful display of signs and banners uh, is to highlight the growing problems of both plastic pollution and climate change here on our islands. CIGTV's Donna Bush there. Environment Minister the Honorable Dwayne Seymour attended the protest. He says it's important to listen respectively to the perspective of children as the country will someday be in their hands. And speaking of students, 16-year-old student and cellist Daquan Smith has been selected to return to Lucerne Music Center in New York for a one-month intensive music summer camp. But for the first time in its history, Cayman Arts Festival organizers are sending not one, but seven young musicians to join him. For the first time when we take this, uh, this challenge, um, it's not easy. There's a lot of... Uh, financial effort involved, but we try to, to do it. CAF Executive Director Mary Ghana says it's a sense of pride to send their largest contingent yet to experience the one-month intensive summer camp. The camp typically costs $5,000 per student, and they've managed to cover the majority of the costs by way of fundraising. They've got about 5000 left to raise. We got a discount, so instead of $30,000, we have to pay just $20,000. Initially, we, we were able to, to have 15000 and now we are working to get the final 5000 We might have some concerts or somebody that is willing to support. It's, it's welcome to, to contact us. We will do everything possible to send these six kids to, to New York because we know how good and beneficial it will be for them. Organizers are gearing up for their next public fundraising event, Music at the Library, this Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Public Library. Tickets are available at the door, $20 for adults and $5 for students up to the age of 18. Now with a check of international news, here's the BBC who will take us out of the newscast. I'm Carsley Fuller from Radio Cayman's Newsroom. BBC News with David Austin. The campaign group Human Rights Watch has accused the Egyptian military of committing widespread abuses against civilians in the Sinai Peninsula, some of which amount to war crimes. It says the military, which is fighting Islamic State group militants in the area, shows utter contempt for the rights of local civilians and that hundreds have been killed or injured. Protest groups in Sudan have begun a two-day general strike to put pressure on the military to hand over power to a civilian administration. 
Hundreds of travellers have been stranded at the international airport and at bus terminals in the capital Khartoum as transport workers joined the strike action. Malaysia says it's sending tons of plastic waste back to the countries of origin, saying it does not want to be an international dumping ground. Malaysia's environment minister, Yeo Bi Yin, said much of the waste was illegally imported. BBC News. What's happening in your community? News and information, music and more. You can find us. www.radiokman.gov.ky Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Radio Cayman is your choice, your voice for today's biggest news. Radio Cayman. At Flow, we know that four are better than one. Introducing Flow Quad Play. Packed with the fastest, most reliable broadband, the power and control of Flow Evo TV, K-Man's best mobile experience, and tons of home phone minutes, all in one convenient package from only $199 a month. With four plans to choose from, you're sure to find one that fits your needs. It's value, ease, and convenience all on one bill with K-Man's number one network. Find out why four are better than one with Flow Quad Play at discoverflow.ky. Terms and conditions apply. Radio K-Man's premier health show. For the health of it with Tara Bush. is brought to you on Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. on 89.9 and 93.9 FM. Proudly brought to you by the Cayman Islands Civil Service Association. For more information on how you can become a member or the benefits of the CICSA, please visit www.cicsa.ky. For your convenience, the CICSA offices are open on Mondays from 9 to 12 p.m. and Thursdays from 1 to 4 p.m. For the health of it with Tara The Weather Report is proudly sponsored by Super Stitch Sewing and Fabric Center, your one-stop household store at 39 Pasador Place, Smith Road. Still offering the best prices in town. Call 949-2833 or go to superstitch.com.ky. Good morning, K-Man. Let's take a look at your weather report. All compliments of our friends at Super Stitch. Present temperature 81 degrees Fahrenheit. It's mostly cloudy on the outside. Relative humidity 88%. Right now winds are calm. Barometric pressure is at 29.85 and rising. Synopsis for this morning. Cloudiness and showers will continue across the Cayman area for the next 24 hours as a mid to upper level trough lingers over the Western Caribbean. Forecast for today, cloudy skies with a 60% chance of showers and some thunder. Showers may become locally heavy at times and may lead to flooding of low-lying areas. Temperatures will rise to the upper 80s. Winds will be east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots with higher gusts in and around heavy showers. Seas will be moderate, wave heights of 3 to 5 feet. Cloudy to for later tonight, cloudy to overcast skies with a 60% chance of showers and some thunder. Showers may become locally heavy at times. Temperatures will fall to the upper 70s. Winds will be east to southeast at 5 to 10 knots with higher gusts in around heavy showers. And seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. We're in a high tide. Low tide is at 12.10 this afternoon. High at 6.43 this evening. For tomorrow, low tide is at 12.37 a.m. High at 6.18 a.m. Low at 12.45 p.m. And high at 7.20 p.m. Sunset this evening is at 6.57. Sunrise for tomorrow at 5.48. The outlook is for a decrease in cloudiness and showers from Wednesday morning as the mid to upper level weakens and it lifts north of the Caribbean. That's your latest weather. New stock, New stock has just, just arrived, arrived at, at Super Stitch. Stitch. Now don't take my word for it. Drop by and see for yourself. Fresh off the boat, we have we loads have of fabric, fabric vinyl, vinyl, upholstery, upholstery fabric, fabric, fabric for cushions, outdoor fabrics, and dress fabric. That's not all. Super Stitch has sewing accessories and craft items. Included in the new shipment, you will find sheets, comforters, throw pillows, bath mats, rugs, and curtains for every room in your home. Super Stitch, 39 Passador Place, Smith Road. Still, Still offering, offering the best, the best price, price in town. In town. Call 949-2833 or go to superstitch.com.ky. 
Superstitch Sewing and Fabric Center was a proud sponsor of the Weather Report. Your one-stop shop for all of your household items, craft items, jewelry, beads, and decorations, and much more. Call Superstitch at 949-2833 or email customer care at superstitch.com.ky. New, New stock, stock has just, just arrived, arrived at Superstitch. Super now don't take my word for it. Drop by and see for yourself. Fresh off the boat, we have we loads have of fabric, fabric vinyl, vinyl, upholstery, upholstery fabric, fabric, fabric for cushions, outdoor fabrics, and dress fabric. That's not all. Superstitch has sewing accessories and craft items. Included in the new shipment, you will find sheets, comforters, throw pillows, bath mats, rugs, and curtains for every room in your home. Superstitch, 39 Pasador Place, Smith Road. Still, Still offering, offering the best the price, price in, town. in town. Call 949-2833 or go to superstitch.com.ky. From happy beginnings to happy ever after. Brit K protects your lifestyle with the best insurance cover at the best possible price. Health insurance with far-reaching benefits. 95% of claims settled in five days. Low-cost life insurance. And investments. Security in retirement. With a custodian pension plan. For happy beginnings and a happy ever after. Visit BritK.ky or call 949-8699. Brit K, where people come first. All right, taking a look at traffic conditions. It's that time of the morning where it's getting quite a bit crazy, especially if you're coming out from the eastern districts. The usual traffic pileup along Ledford Pearson Highway and Crew Road. And of course, if you're going through South Sound, uh, once you turn onto Walker's Road or heading onto North Church Street, South Church Street, you'll experience some traffic out there as well. Of course, uh, traffic going through uh, the smaller streets. Uh, if you're going through Windsor Park, on to Smith Road out there. Of course, you'll experience some traffic out there as you try to get into Georgetown. Coming out of the West East District of West Bay, traffic is moving along quite good as you enter into Georgetown. Of course, getting closer, you'll experience the usual uh, traffic in certain areas where it's expected. But of course, uh, you'll make it to work on time. Road conditions are wet, so please drive with caution. That's your latest traffic report. Business Buzz is coming up. While the primary source of alcohol for underage drinkers is people they know, research shows that 7-9% to of those who report alcohol use in the Cayman Islands purchase alcohol directly from retailers. Tips Off-Premise helps retailers focus on verifying the legal drinking age when selling alcohol. Since the program was introduced here in the Cayman Islands back in 2005, we have trained over 400 persons and partnered with over 10 retailers. Contact us at 949-9000 to have your staff trained today. This message is brought to you by Radio Cayman and the National Drug Council. Welcome back to the Business Buzz, the business topics that matter, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Good morning and welcome back to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz that is proudly sponsored by Cayman Medical Supplies and Cayman Insurance Center. In the second segment of the Business Buzz, we put this focus all on and hear about Nathan's general maintenance and construction. I'd like to welcome owner Mr. Terry Nathan to the show. Good morning, Mr. Nathan. It's a pleasure to have you on our show. Good morning, Miss Susan. How are you this morning? I'm Thanks fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Now, let's talk about the history behind your your company and tell us why you became interested in this line of work well with me um in my with my company first to start and you know, um i see you know, there's a lot of stuff um need to be done around cayman island and um, i mean i'm very grateful to be a part of cayman and very grateful to have a business in the cayman island you know to just to be start mm-hmm. Now, Nathan General Maintenance is a construction that started back in 2014. Mr. Nathan has experience in home building and repairs and maintenance for residential, industrial, and commercial for interior and exterior. He specializes in carpentry, plumbing, electrical, and air conditioning, sheetrock, crown moldings, power washing, painting, repair of appliances, and much more. Now, that's a 360 for you. So what is it like operating a maintenance and construction business? Well, first to start, um, to operating a business is not easy. You know, to, to do a business, you have to be consistent. You have to have your head and your body to start. I mean, if you're running a company you, as an owner, you have to make sure what you're doing, you have to do it in the right way. And 
and how to go about it. You have to make sure you be on the right track. You know. How have you seen your company grown so far since opening in 2014? Well, it's it's growing up. Sometimes business is up and sometimes business is down. So you have to be thinking about what you're doing. If business is up, you have to stay up. Sometimes you have to stay on, stay afloat on business, you know. Now, with hurricane season fast approaching, what advice would you share with homeowners for critical repairs that they should have done and ready before a storm? Well, before a storm hit, we have to be prepared from beforehand. You cannot wait until the last minute to be getting ready. If you know a storm is out there, you don't know if you're going to hit the Cayman Island, yes or no. You have to be ready. You have to be prepared. You have to get your shutters and get your place buttoned up before time. Get your material ready. Get your workmen ready to go out there and actually start to get the, the, the owners, home owners, mm-hmm. get them prepared. You know, get their place button up and all of that. Make sure that not before the storm hit, they're going to get rushed. Oh, I want to be my place to get button up now. And a lot of people been calling, um, I need this to be done. I need that to be done. But at the same time, you have to be, make sure you be on hand or uh, beforehand. I'm sorry. What about overgrown trees? And, you know, you have those box eaves that probably were eroding or where the, the water is coming off the roof and just the, you may not have any guttering on the side of your on, on, on your roof. The overgrown trees, we have to make sure get those trees cut back. Not to be, we don't want to destroy the trees. We have to make sure we prune the trees back from the house, make sure you don't have extra limbs slamming against the house and the gutters. And all that because that is a thing that will destroy your house, you know. Trees, or when the water hit the tree, the leaf get heavy, so that it will break, damage your house, maybe break your windows, wind coming in, and all of that. You don't want it to be happening. Now, you say you offer power washing services. How often do you feel, let's say a mamaran house or even um, a wooden house, should be power washed, understanding the high salt content we have in Cayman? To do when it, first of all, when you pour wash in the house, you have to make sure you go there and um, actually look around the house. Sometimes a client will be calling and need the house to be like pour washing, asking for the house to be pour washing. You have to go there, make sure you look around and check, make sure you have their plants cover up. And even the mummer and the wall, of such, you have to make sure the chemically kind of chemically put on the wall, it will actually make an effect after a period of time. So you have to think in what you're going to use to pour wash the. The, the, the property or the house, you have to make sure. How what, often do you feel someone needs to power wash their home? Well, to power wash their home is actually, you could uh, do it within like six months apart, you know, just to make sure you stay on top of it so it don't be getting hard and way, whatever it is, whatever um, with the house, you have to make sure you wash it in the period at the time. What about free estimates? Do you go out and assess jobs before? Do you, do you do quotes? Yes, I did quote. I will go out and give free estimate, of course. And um, we don't charge for estimate. We'll go out and give you a free estimate. And it's up to the owner to call me back or let us know if we're going to get a job. Because, you know, it's a, the competition is very high out there mm-hmm. in the business. So when you bidding on the job, you have to be considerate of the owner. Not to say you're gonna give a um underbid the price or underbid the, the property, but you have to make sure what you're bidding for, you know, is 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 coming um for the owners also. Which leads me into this question. What are your thoughts on the construction industry here in Cayman? And talk about the challenges you see, if any. There's a lot of challenges out there. Um I mean um to do, you have a lot of competition to see. You know, people will um actually be. I mean, um, in the business world, you have to be consistent. You know, mm-hmm. consistent mean that um, if you are, uh, are a, I mean, if you are a, a builder, you have to make sure when you go there, you have to be um thought. You know? Must be thorough. Yes, sir. Now. What, generally, what is your timeline for completion of small size construction jobs? Small size construction job will take, it all depends on 
what is the what is the size of the job sometimes we take like two, two months or sometimes we take like three months mm -hmm. or less how important is it for you once you get a job to always communicate with your clients well for far to communicate with the clients you have to be very um on top if if a client asks you to do something you have to make sure what they ask you have to make sure that what what they say is what you do you don't go and do what you want you have to make sure if the client say put that there you have to make sure either you take a picture of what she, they have before you move it or you make sure you you stay on top <laughs> do you think working with female customers is harder than working with males if if the female is the one because <laughs> we know what we want <laughs> well female female ladies in a whole i mean they actually know what they want we can you know? see it before we, we it even see happens it before it happens and sometimes working with females you know i mean it is i wouldn't say difficult but they they know what they want if they want something look good you have to give them what mm -hmm. what, what what they ask for you know? Mr. Nathan, how can persons get in touch with you? What are your contact details? My contact details are 917-7586 or they can email me at ngmc04 at yahoo.com. Now tell us about the services relating to plumbing, electrical, and air conditioning. You also offer those services as well, correct? Yep. Well, Start start with the plumbing. I mean, is is like interior jobs. If you somebody call you regarding they have um like a water leak, a sink leak, you know, we will go out there and um assess it and make sure it's not something that flooding their house and all of that. We have to make sure that when we go out there to look at the job, we um actually either you turn the water off or you make sure you you checked it before or you looked around to see where with the plumbing where the water coming from. You know, if, if you have a leaking toilet, especially if you have like a leaking toilet and stuff like that, because not that's common around Cayman Island. Mm -hmm. the, the toilet is used every day, and sometimes it will be moving, and and sometimes you need to be rewaxed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes or the breaking of the flange. And, right. See, and I know what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, um, if you sit on it, something regular every every minute you sit on it, I mean, it will actually move. So mm -hmm. you know, you have to be constantly checking that. Because that's if you flush the water down, it will be coming under the seal, you know, flood the, the floor, or the carpet, or the whatever. So, what about electrical? What type of services do you provide where it consists contains um, electrical pertains to electrical? Well, uh, a lot of clients would be calling um, regarding that they have like, especially in like in in like in the kitchen or. Normally, not really in the kitchen, but in general in the in the home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they will have a GFI chip, and they like the ladies cooking in, in the kitchen, and they have a GFI chip, in, and they don't know what um happened to do. To do well, I will go out there and actually I would send um my electrician guy out there to have a check and make sure what what's going on with it and get it sorted out. And do you um, install new lights if persons want to change over, if yeah, there's corrosion, that sort of stuff? Do you do that as well? Yeah, we do all of that also. What about air conditioning? You do servicing or installation, duct cleaning? Break it down for me. We do servicing and also we do duct cleaning and we also do new installation of AC unit. Mm -hmm. Right. So we will go there. Sometimes um, somebody will have the AC. Normally you have to clean your AC. Actually, every... Two months or three months, you know. Depends. Some people do them quarterly. Quarterly, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have to make sure you check it. You, you, you are, uh, even as a home owner, you could check it if you know how to check it to make sure your vent is also clean and all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, we do all that like from new, from new repairs mm -hmm. to complete. Just straight to maintenance. Yes, now, do you ever try to pass along some of your knowledge to younger people about what it's like in the construction industry? Do you work with young people? What about the succession of your own business when you get older? Well, and what are we retired? actually, yeah, we actually um, help young guys like Cayman and guys who need jobs and all of that. We actually help them too. And actually learn, teach them the job. I mean, I'm not going to be younger every day. I'm getting older. So you have to pass, down the, mm -hmm. pass it on to the younger generation that's coming up. So we will hire like Cayman and guys that don't have jobs. They will be on the road. It's for me to see them. And instead of begging me a dollar, I will say, you know, come out and do some work for me. 
and I would teach them the job. They say, oh my God, Mr. Nathan, I'm happy for you to show me this because they didn't know mm-hmm. how to do the job and you know, we we'll pass it on to them also. Now, moving forward, where do you see Nathan General Maintenance and Construction in the future? What would you like to see? Well, I would like it to see it grows from from where it is now to better. You know, I mean, construction, my company, I would like it to be growing because you have to start from somewhere. If you don't start, you don't know where you're going to end, mm-hmm. right? So you have to be start from somewhere, and then once you start, you know that um, you're going to reach the goal. Now, you are owner of Nathan General Maintenance and Construction. Your slogan is, you break it, we fix it. How do you become a master of all trades? Well, when I go to school, I actually, the teacher will teach you a lot of stuff. But it's you to know what you want to learn, or you want to master everything, or you want to learn the theory of some, and learn and master some. So I will, I will master some and then learn the theory of some. Mm-hmm. And then while I, while I learn the theory of some, I will go out on the field. I will watch what others are doing and make sure that I learn from them. If I don't know, you say one teach others. So I, they teach me and I teach them what I learned. So, were so. you always a person that you actually were fixing things or taking things apart at home and fixing them back just because? Yeah, I actually, when I was a little bit uh, growing up, a little boy growing up, I actually... Back home in Jamaica, I will like try a lot of stuff. To, you know, we like to put hands on and everything, so we try a little bit, a little bit of there, a little bit of that. So I said, Oh, well, yeah, this will work. So we hands on. Mr. Nathan General, uh, can you share with our listening audience? Because time, can't believe how quickly time flies, does it? Yes, ma'am, I know. I want people to know how they can reach out to you if they require your services. Well, can you repeat your contact details? Well, to reach out for, to reach out to me, they can call me at nine one seven seven five eight six, or they can send me an email at ng zero four at yahoo dot com. And you're open seven days a week. I'm you open, fix it, I'm we open break it. Seven days a week, even in the night, they could call me. I could come out. That's my slogan. You break it. You we break fix it, it. We fix it. It has been a pleasure, Mr. Nathan. Thank you so much for being our guest, and we want to wish uh, you well with Nathan's General Maintenance and Construction, sir. All the best to you. All the best, Mr. Thanks. Radio Cayman Business Buzz is proudly sponsored by Cayman Medical Supplies. Give them a call, 949-6211, and also by Cayman Insurance Center. Celebrating 45 years in the Cayman Islands, specializing in property, life, and other lines of insurance, products, and services. Keep it locked to the Business Buzz for more after these few messages. We'll be putting the spotlight on TriBridge Compliance Partners. Don't take chances with your family's future or your valuable assets. Always be prepared and ensure your family is provided for. Cayman Insurance Center specializes in life, property, motor, health, and liability at the most competitive premiums and affordable rates on island. Call Michael Webster today at 925-5433 for life insurance or Denise Brown at 814-7229 for property insurance. Call them today for all your insurance needs. The Cayman Islands Conference of Seventh-day Adventists invites you to their 125th year anniversary social at the East End Heritage Park. On Saturday, June the 1st, 2019, starting at 8 p.m. Come celebrate 125 years of Adventism in these islands. There will be food and fun galore. All are invited. It starts at 8. So make it a date. And and don't don't be late. late. See you there. Are you seeking information on the proper process to start constructing your home or development? Do you know how to apply for a building permit and inspection? Are you up to date with current building codes? May is Building Safety Month, and the Department of Planning has a number of events to help you stay up to date with the building and planning process. To learn more about Building Safety Month and the training, information sessions, and demos offered for free to the public, visit planning.ky. I may not be right for you, but I write for somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I looking good, I feeling good, I real, real good, I real, real good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I looking good, I feeling good, I real, real good, I real, real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally, don't take it too personally. They used to laugh at me personally. Now look at me, look at me, look at me. Them couldn't see my struggle. Them couldn't feel my pain. Them wasn't there when my heart did fight with my brain at night. Now again, because I come from a housing scheme with a big, big dream and 
a meal once, always a million miles away. I couldn't have one every day. And every time that I feel into quit and just give it up, I used to go on my knees and beg and start to pray. Now it's safe to say, me now go make them kill.
get on still big jack in a motion. Fireman carriage because you heat too high. Dry up the earth and you make blood cry. Oh, cash for a night, you can't measure how your bands up. The specialist can see how your hands up. You can decide for the height for your rich stuff. It's a pleasant kind of love. And you make me feel a heat. Huh. Don't need to touch. Oh, now come in eyes on you now and me now. I'm gonna miss a beat. I'm cool down because the heat too strong. Pick up your face, we play. together with Destra coming up in a few minutes we get back into the business buzz feature right here on Radio K-Man 8.39 is our time
Gosh. <sighs> Don't let the stress of taking care of loved ones get you down. Home care, now made easier with Cayman Medical Supplies. 100% Caymanian owned. Cayman Medical Supplies now stocks a wide range of home care supplies. Hospital beds, all types of wheelchairs, including beach access wheelchairs, lifts, commodes, shower chairs, walkers, Curad brand orthopedic supplies, free blood glucose monitors with the purchase of one pack of test strips, blue underpads, and a whole lot more. Need home care convenience? 
Drop by KMI Medical Supplies at 93 Smith Road, Windward Center, or call 949-6211. Free delivery. Hello, I'm Joseph Woods, the Acting Port Director. Our port facility is the hub of the Cayman Islands Commerce and Economic Activity, handling $658 million in imported goods annually. From groceries to construction materials, all sectors of our economy depend on the port. But it is now 40 years old. Its infrastructure is degrading, and we feel the strain from insufficient space for both cargo and cruise operations. The time is now. A new expanded port facility is needed to allow both cargo and cruise to operate efficiently and to support our island's continued growth and development. Support the port, support our tourism, support Cayman's continued growth and development. Place household garbage in large bags prior to its placement in a garbage container to avoid spillage during collection. A suitable garbage container must be made of sturdy materials that will allow it to withstand weathering. A tightly fitted cover is also necessary to keep out water and stray animals. Do your part. Keep your surroundings clean. Store household garbage in a suitable garbage container. For more tips on proper waste packaging, please visit DEH website at www.deh.gov.ky. Welcome back to the Business Buzz, the business topics that matter, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Good morning and welcome back to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner, and we put the spotlight without further ado on TriBridge Compliance Partner with Mr. Dean Linnae, Managing Director of TriBridge. Let's get right to it. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry about the confusion here this morning, but anyway, I'm glad to hear yes. uh, and uh, that we're able to actually get the segment going. Um, uh, so thank you for, for bringing me on again. Uh, I, this is a, a show that I really love being on, obviously. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you. <laughs> um, one of the things um, uh, that I really wanted to get on air on um, is is really around the, uh, the AML regulatory requirements, specifically around the um, DNFBP, um, which is the designated non-financial um, um, uh, persons. Mm-hmm. Um, what this is is specifically focusing um, around the jewelry stores, um, and real estate companies, and developing companies that are licensed with DCI. And what they um, have to report. And what they now have to report. So what what CIMA, uh, not CIMA, DCI has actually done um, uh, as the supervising authority uh, for this particular area um, they have pushed out uh, uh, the registration forms for companies to try to get them in line, um, at least to get them registered with DCI, mm-hmm. um, to kind of give a, a DCI an understanding of where the companies are um, uh, around their meeting the regulatory requirements by May 29th. Now, the, the expectation is that these forms need to be filled out and completed by May 29th and submitted um, so that DCI can have a good understanding of where companies stand at this point. Now, that's tomorrow. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so there there has been a lot of, of, of uh, companies out there that are still struggling. Um, I've dealt with a few recently, um, uh, giving them proper guidance and stuff um, of what they're needing to do. Um, so what I would suggest, if you haven't completed a form yet, um, please look at it, uh, uh, trying to get that in between today and tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, DCI is 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 actually been very uh, adamant about trying to get um, uh, these forms completed. They've been calling people. They've been actually doing uh, on-site drop-ins and say, hey, listen, we haven't see- received anything from you yet. So they're really pushing to try to get this in line. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and this is all because, you know, right now... The, Cayman Islands have been under a microscope, as, yeah. you, as, as, you, as we all understand. Um, and, and what they're trying to do is just make sure that they, they, under this particular industry, um, that they're following the regulations as required. And you're specifically looking to at jewelry stores and even real estate agencies? Correct. Real estate agencies and, and development companies. Now, the, the, the concern is, is that there's a, a gray area with the development companies. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and and DCI I understand that, and, and I think what they're what they're trying to get at is really if you're if you're contracting, if the company is is, is developing a property and you're contracting um, to actually buy and sell these properties uh, as an agent, um, then you should be following the AML regulations as stated um, in and 
as stated in, in the um, AML regulations, um, specifically because you're caught under the proceeds of crime law schedule six, mm-hmm. right? Um, so if there's a confusion on that, um, DCI is, is open their, their phones up and said, hey, listen, give us a call. We'd be more than happy to walk through the requirements with you and what you need to do. Now, if you find that DCI have sent you letters, um, which they haven't made this clear yet, but if, they, if you've gotten these registration forms and you feel that your company does not meet these specific requirements, meaning that you don't feel that they're required to do That you don't have to comply. Exactly. Then what they're saying is that there's a declaration form that you need to complete. Okay. Complete that declaration form and submit that in by tomorrow. So what is this all about? What is it for? We're hearing you. We're hearing all about these deadlines. We're hearing you got it from <laughs> from the, the deadline of you have to register in the Cayman Islands business portal before you can do your annual returns. And now it's this. Yes. What does it mean? Well, it, <laughs> what has happened is, is as, a, as a stated before, the, you know, the Cayman Islands has actually gone through a microscope uh, recently. Uh, and, and what they've been pushing is, is really trying to get the uh, Cayman in line with the mutual evaluation reports um, that has been done recently. Um, as, as I'm sure you have heard and, and a lot, most of the island, um, we didn't do too well. Mm-hmm. Um, and as such, we're required then because of this particular thing and as well as the FATF coming in and doing, you know, to pushing this through, they're saying that there are certain things that Cayman needs to put themselves in, in line with. Mm-hmm. Um, there needs to be a lot more supervision um, around these particular areas. Um, there needs to be um, uh, fines and penalties pushed in because, you know, they're saying, hey, listen, it's great that you have all these things in place, but are you really enforcing them? Mm-hmm. Right. So they're, they're feeling that Cayman has, has lapsed in that particular area. And, and this because of that, they're saying, hey, listen, there needs to be a lot more stringent. Now, Cayman is not the only area that is now falling under this particular regime. Mm-hmm. Right. There's particular areas. This there's, is international. There's, there's, this has gone global. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so Cayman is not just isolated specifically. Um, but, you know, we were, of course, ones that had to get in line first more than likely than they were. Yeah, we were all it's under the spotlight. <laughs> so this is pretty much to combat money laundering or the possibilities Correct. of monies that are not coming from a good source or a positive source. Exactly. Being funneled through here, be it to into opening up business just to, in layman's terms, wash money. Exactly. I mean, it's say, for instance, you go into jewelry stores, and I'm not picking on these guys at all, but, you know, you get on a day-to-day basis, you get these cruise ship passengers that are coming in, um, and they're walking into stores with, with credit cards um, that may be stolen, um, uh, cash, um, and what they're doing is they're trying to make this cash very liquid, mm-hmm. okay, to be able to actually transit. So, Jewelry is the easiest way to make this. Why present. not buy the Dream so Rolex in, or Brightlin go, exactly. or something so like that? So they'll go in and say, "Hey, listen, we'll we'll buy, you know purchase credit card, use credit card to buy jewelry." They'll mm-hmm, have like mm-hmm. four or five guys. They'll go in to different times, mm-hmm. use different credit cards and cash and so forth, and you know they'll walk away with hundreds of thousands of dollars in mm-hmm, jewelry. Mm-hmm. They'll take that back somewhere else, and you know they'll sell it, um, and then now that money's been cleaned. Mm-hmm. Right. Same so, thing with real estate. Exactly. Right. So, you know, it's it's for them, from their point of view, it's 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 a very easy way of getting money in and right. out. Um, and this is another way of doing it. Right. So now what kind of impacts is the revised anti-money laundering reg- regulations having on Cayman, you think? Um, I, I think at first a lot of people were scared uh, and, and there was a concern that, you know, we were over-regulating ourselves and mm-hmm. that we were pushing ourselves out of the market in comparison to the rest of the regions that are there. Um, but as 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 we have now starting to see, um, it really hasn't changed things too much. Right. Um, you know, business is is there are some people have left, um, but again, there's all, a lot of people coming in, um, so it hasn't really caused a big problem. But I think what has happened is that it it actually gives came on a different. Um, uh, a spotlight mm-hmm. in comparison to say, hey, listen, you know, we've constantly fought to try to get in line with all of to these regulations. Yeah, exactly. Um, because, you know, the whole concern was was that, oh, we, you know, we're the money and larger capital in the world and so forth and so forth. And if you really look at our regulations, they're, I mean, they're one of the top areas. I mean, you can open up bank accounts in the U.S. Mm-hmm. pretty easily. Yeah. In comparison <laughs> to here, not even exactly. the blue iguanas can do that. 
<laughs> so tell me, what can you offer our listening uh, audience who may find themselves not sure whether or not they fall under this and want to be in compliance with meeting this deadline? What can be offered to TriBridge Compliance Partners? Limited? Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I would say I would say definitely reach out to me um, if you have any concerns in regards to if you are in line or required to be in line with these regulations. Um, and you're not quite sure, reach out to me. If you're not sure how to fill out the forms, reach out to me. Um, I'll help you with the with your registration forms. I'll help you in regards to getting your AML manuals in place. And again, AML manuals, people, please don't get this confused. AML manuals is not a cut and paste of the regulations. It's, it's AML manuals is specifically, specifically stating what you're required to do on a day-to-day basis around these regulations for the company to therefore follow these regulations and as a control. acronym AML, anti-money and laundering. Anti-money laundering, okay. correct, mm-hmm. right? Um, so, it, you know, we'll help you write your AML manuals, anti-money laundering no, manuals. No, it's okay. We got it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, we, we'll help with the appointments of the officers. We'll help with the training. We'll help with the uh, day-to-day process. Um, you know, we're looking at specific areas, specifically around the jewelry stores, because, again, you know, as it, as somebody comes in to buy jewelry, they don't want to spend a half a day being processed uh, just to buy a watch, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So we're looking at possibilities of how to make this easier, a, a lot easier, a lot more efficient, um, and to and to see about making sure that it meets the regulatory requirements. So we've been in discussions with DCI about this. It should be interesting. How would that? Because I'm looking at making a sale. Yeah. You come in and I check the credit card and I ask you for your ID and it's all good. Yeah. Why should I stress? Well, well, <laughs> well. This is the thing: is that some it's, salesperson's it's, going it's, home with some cha-ching. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, it, it's it's the concern of saying, "Hey, listen, you know, um, I need. I'm getting paid commission. Do I really need to push this guy out? Um, it's, and because the done, process right? is taking His so process long. Process is taking so long. So you know, we're trying to 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 ensure that people understand that they can't just turn a blind eye. Um, and if you have specific controls in place and your manual states this is what you're required to do and your staff isn't doing it, right. then they're in breach of their policies and procedures, which therefore means terms to, to termination, right? Hmm. Um, so th- this is one of the things we're trying to put in place. But also, we're trying not to um, make sure that clients aren't suffering from this or customers aren't suffering from this because, again, you want to be able to go in buy a watch and walk right back out. Exactly. Um, and that process, you know, it should be very short, right? So we're looking at possibly as the humming has happened, you know, make it a little bit more automated um, and uh, to put something together. Uh, we've got some proposals in place uh, with, with uh, DCI and we're waiting to see what they're going to come back with on that. How can persons contact you both and get additional information? Yeah, they can reach out to me uh, via the, the main line, which is at 949-3825. Um, or they can or send me an email directly, uh, which is uh, dean at tribridge.ky. Um, I'm trying to make that very simple. Um, or they can just go straight to the website. Um, you know, it's, it's tribridge.ky, www.tribridge.ky. Um, again, I'm trying to make that as very simple as possible, uh, just so that people can remember it. Um, but please reach out. I mean, I, I'll be ha- very happy to sit down and talk with, with other real estate companies, developers, or even jewelry stores. Um, and try to get them in line with the regulations as they are required. Now, I know we're looking more at jewelry stores, real estate agents, and development companies, but there were, there, were there other organization or industries that had to have been in compliance? Well, there is, um, well, the, the AML regulations um, has been around since 2000, well, the new version, mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, new requirements, or should I say, has been issued since 2017. They, of course, the financial industry and that the kind of follows SEMA um, will we be required to be in place as of uh, the beginning of this year. Um, you do have other areas um, that, you know, f- for instance, the accounting firms, um, you know, they are now needing to be in line. Mm-hmm. Um, there is an expectation. I haven't seen a deadline yet in regards to that requirements, but I think... Um, is probably uh, at this point in time in line to, to do the same thing as probably the DCI. Um, but I haven't seen anything pushed out about that. Um, so that's um, under the CIIPA. Um, they're the supervising authorities. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the legal practitioners, um, I think uh, they have just gotten um, the authorization for the CILPA, which is the Cayman Islands Legal Practitioners Association, mm-hmm. I think it is. Um, to to be the supervising uh, authority oh, for, for that particular industry, okay. um, 
So I, I think once they've got that in place, I think they'll be pushing out notices of what's going to be expected specifically around those areas. But, um, you know, basically the island um, overall is now following specific requirements that are set out by the regulations pushed out 2017. Dean, it's a pity that we got some little mix up there with the date because what you've what you've shared with our listening audience this morning is is very valuable, and I'm happy that we were even able to cover you for at least the first 15 <laughs> minutes um, because of this deadline coming up tomorrow. But what happens if it comes and it passes? Well, <laughs> um, DCI has been has been informing me on a regular basis that there will be penalties um, that will be put in place, um, and that they're going to be enforcing them. Okay. Um, I don't want to scare anybody. Um, but the truth but, is the truth. But this is what they've stated, um, and and you know because of this past inspection. Um, they're caught behind the eight ball on mm-hmm, this, um, mm-hmm. and they're going to expect the industry to kind of pick up their 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 penance and say, "Hey, listen, this is what we need to do, right?" Okay. Um, so I, I, I'm sure that there will be maybe some ex- exemptions or, or some um, areas to where they're saying, "Okay, fine, they will give you a little bit of leeway," but, but. again. You know, I wouldn't depend on that. Okay. Um, so I would suggest anybody at this time that is waiting, mm-hmm. uh, don't wait anymore. Try to get it done. Um, reach out to me if you have questions. Um, let's try to get you at least registered by tomorrow. All the other things, if you, you ha- can always if, fill in the gaps exactly, after. exactly. Right. So at least get you get in. you get you get registered, you and then and then all the other things we can help out with at some point in time. But at least if there's a notification that you're doing it, then. DCI would be a lot more comfortable rather than you not, not doing it anything ex- at all. Exactly. exactly. Mr. Dean Lenny, Managing Director of TriBridge Compliance Partners, I want to thank you for um, being with us this morning. <laughs> I just wish we could accommodate you for a little bit longer. But I'm quite sure we'll have you back on as this progresses because there are other elements, again, that yes. there will be deadlines coming up. Um, yes. And we will. It, it would be a pleasure to have you back. It would be a pleasure to be back. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate your time again. Thank you. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner, and just a public service, I'm going to sneak this in. The Red Bay, the Prospect and Red Bay Community Group, in conjunction with the Seventh-day Adventist Church, will be hosting a healthy living night as part of Celebrate Cayman 60 Acts of Service. That takes place this Monday, June 3rd, from 7 p.m. to 9 at the Seafarers Hall. Come and get screening for blood pressure, cholesterol, glucose, even get a stress test. Massage th- chairs will be there. Get an ice massage hydrotherapy, foot treatment, paraffin treatment, healthy cooking demonstrations, effects and preventions of substance abuse, and much, much more. We want to invite all of the residents of Red Bay and Prospect to come out to this evening. Again, that's Monday evening. You'll see more on our Facebook page. And last but not least, if you, for some reason, receives an email from Sabrina Turner that I'm in Alabama, I am not. It's a phishing email. My emails has not been compromised. Somebody did that. They got a hold of my name and they're saying that I'm stuck in Alabama, USA, and I'm needing $4,000. Please just delete it. It was not me. It has been a pleasure. We want to thank you for tuning into the Business Buzz and we want to thank our kind sponsors, Cayman Medical Supplies and Cayman Insurance Center. Until Thursday, have a safe and fabulous Tuesday. Business Buzz is proudly sponsored by insurance agents Michael Webster and Denise Brown from Cayman Insurance Center, specializing in life and property insurance. Don't take chances with your family's future. Satisfaction is guaranteed 24 hours a day, whether it's music or information. From Grand Cayman to Cayman Brack to Little Cayman, we've got you covered. You ever hear a thing like that? Radio Cayman in the Cayman Islands.